Starting just days from now on Tuesday, growing weed in your home has the green light. You can have up to eight plants thanks to the new law legalizing recreational marijuana. But to get started, you need weed seeds. WCCO's Caroline Cummings explains what you need to know. Try to avoid this, but if you have to, put it on there. Ian Davis and his small team at Green Nectar Cultivation are gearing up to supply a few stores with the key ingredient for cannabis home growing. It's one of the first elements of the recreational marijuana law that takes effect August 1st. I mean, as soon as that happened, yeah, we were on. We were go time. It was time to brainstorm, see what's legal, what is available to bring to the market on the first. Like, what is the soonest available thing that we can sell? And it's seed. There won't be cannabis manufacturers or retail dispensaries in Minnesota until a new state regulatory agency is up and running, and that could take at least a year. But weed seeds are regulated like any other you'd buy for your garden, which is why they'll be in stores sooner. My advice for consumers would be to look at that label. Michael Merriman is the seed regulatory supervisor at the Minnesota Department of Agriculture, the agency charged with oversight of all seeds. Our seed program is really about truth and labeling and consumer protection so that the consumer knows what they're getting. You know, you read that label and you should know exactly what to expect from that label. How much seed is in this package? What kind is it? Is it lettuce, asparagus, cannabis? Businesses like Green Nectar Cultivation need a state permit and have to follow proper testing for things like contaminants and label requirements, like how much you're getting per package, who's supplying it, and what's called a lot number, tracing the seed's origin. Having Minnesota be here, being a good representative and making sure that everything is oversighted, tested, and labeled, we're here for it. Caroline Cummings, WCCO News. The Minnesota Department of Agriculture can issue violations if seed laborers run afoul of the law. They do routine inspections and also investigate complaints from consumers, which they can file online. 